Three, two, one. Welcome to Antimatters. Hello everyone. An update on the big Tetramorium by Karen Atom colony today. It's been a month since I last made a video on them and they've been super busy. They've also had some expansions as well. Typical. Let's hop back a couple of weeks to begin with. As always, their appetite is insatiable and I love their feeding times. They come out of both nests in the hundreds for their supper. They've got well-developed trails going through the outworlds and the tube entrances often get very busy. Overall, the tetras are very clean, but when there's so many, tiny bits of dirt do add up. They love making their nice white floor dirty and I don't really love cleaning it to be honest. So I decided to add some desert sand substrate. Ta-da! I think it looks alright and it functions well. It's a lot easier for me to clean now. I just poured it in on top of the ants. They didn't seem to care as they wiggled out. I'd been putting off adding substrate because I was worried they would take it back to the nest and make it all dirty and unseeable. Luckily, they have little interest in taking it back though and they haven't made a massive mess. The pros of the substrate though, it's easier to clean. The negatives, it interfered with some of the drinkers and it made them leak as they piled it up against them. I had to make some new ones, which wasn't a problem to be honest. You can also put a drinker in a feed bowl and that stops them burying it as well. Looking at the recent substrate video, compared with just two weeks ago, it's pretty clear they've grown in numbers too. Pretty standard for them at this point. They love growing. The recent heat likely accelerated things. Where are all these newbies coming from though? Well, both nests are packed out now with workers and queens. They line all the surfaces. Let's have a look at Gen 3 City first. A few weeks ago, I added an S1 outworld on top of the first layer of the nest. This was mostly for air circulation inside the nest. The tetramorium tend to dump trash in the areas of the nest that are a bit stuffy. Like the other end of the nest. There are two little trash piles over here. This end will also get a little breather soon. But yeah, the S1 outworld was just to get the air to flow through a little bit and dry out some of the more humid areas. So about a week ago, I also decided to add an additional large Gen 3 Wakushi nest. I had previously tried to add this nest, but they had filled it with trash. So I took it off, cleaned it out, and am ready to try it again. It looks like this time they decided not to ruin it. Touch wood. They also got a medium Gen 3 as well. I only added that two days ago, so they're still sniffing it out. I'm sure it'll be full in a couple days though. Gen 3 City has lovely amounts of brood as well. I like how they choose the junction sometimes to place all their brood. They'll nearly fill it to the ceiling sometimes as they shuffle it all around the nest. I'm hoping to fully build out another tier of Gen 3 medium nests as they continue to grow, it really won't be long till this city is full. Talking about full, Gen 2 city is pretty much packed to the ceiling. You can't even tell they had an expansion because they filled it in hours. 
They really love their humid modules though. It seems most egg laying happens in Gen 2 City before half cooked babies are escorted to Gen 3 City to mature. Not all of them do this, as there are eggs in Gen 3 City, just not as many as Gen 2. They have lived in Gen 2 City longer, so maybe it's more homely. I can be certain though, it's full. Hence some ants have moved to Gen 3 City and the extra large Saturn tubes. I 100% think gypsum is the magic ingredient for these girls too still. They can't get enough of it. Overall they're booming and pretty unaffected by the heat waves. Although there is one thing I've noticed. They keep swarming up the walls on warm days. I suspect they're trying to cool down. It's great seeing so many ants lining the perimeters though. The big nest is always action packed. My new colony is growing nice too. Expect an update on them soon. That's about it this month for these girls. I will film them eating random food soon as well because they like everything protein based nowadays apart from sliced chicken ham. I don't blame them to be honest. Oh, it's, it's a bit mean that stuff. <laughs> While you're here Check out the Discord channel in the comments. Ants Rambling, Ants Ant and me have set up this nice little corner to chat about ants and everything else. Thanks for watching though. You're all the best. I'll see you next time and bye.